everybody. I want to tell you about my experience of routing thick cuttings. Usually I use a modified routing method suggested by a Korean gardener. A method which consists of using plastic bags with a zip fastener. This method works well. Of course, it's desirable that the cutting are strong enough and to be rooted at a suitable time. Then the probability of success is very high. I use two different substrates for filling the bags, either mineral or organic. They are both good. Let's take a look at thick cutting in mineral substrate. The cuttings have not only well-developed leaves, but a relatively strong root system is also visible through the film. Let's see roots without a bag. Wonderful! Such a root system will surely ensure success in potting and further growth. Therefore, I plant it boldly. I use light soil with the addition of perlite. I plant the cutting deep enough in the pot. This avoids unpleasant surprises with and the drying out of a still young plant in hot weather. All is ready. At first time, the pot with a young plant should be kept in the shadow place and water it gently. Now the second bag. Here the organic substrate is coconut coir. We also see good leaves and through the plastic bag powerful young roots. Let's look at them without a bag. Wonderful! Not worse than in a mineral substrate. I will plant it and I am sure that this young fig will develop successfully in the pot.
So, now for the details. The routing plastic bag measures 20 by 10 cm, has a zip fastener and has certain advantages. Let's prepare the mineral substrate. For this purpose I use equal amounts of perlite and vermiculite. After thorough mixing, the substrate is ready. I moisturize it and use to fill plastic bags. The light provides good aeration of the roots, vermiculite, moisture retention. Now about the preparation of the organic substrate. I use commercial coconut coil pressed briquettes. It's comfortable. The material is very moisture absorbing and grows in volume strongly when moistened it. Boiling water prevents damage of appearance mold or insects in the substrate. The finished coconut substrate should not be too wet to ensure good aeration of the callus and roots. Now the process itself. First of all, I treat the knife with alcohol. The plastic bags can now be filled with substrate. Now it's organic substrate, coconut coir.
The perforation of the bags provides drainage and gas exchange. Before working with cutting, I soak them in water for 24 hours. Then wash them in a rural solution of potassium permanganate. I update the top cuts on the cutting for additional mold prevention. Then I wrap the top two-thirds of the cuttings with strange type. It prevents the cuttings from drying out, mold and eliminates the need for a greenhouse when root cuttings. This is especially important for weak cuttings or for late rooting. Then I shape the specific bottom cuts below that bottom knot. And I apply a small amount of rooting hormone to the low cut. I'm using the dust hormone Hormoril. After that, cuttings are placed in a bag in pre-made space in the substrate. The last step is to close the zip fastener to keep substrate wet. Work is done. Backs with cuttings are placed in the shadow place. Now we wait one and a half or two months and look at the result. Fine. Young roots are visible through the transparent walls.
and young shoots have sprouted through the stretch tape. Cuttings are ready for potting. I remove the stretch tape after it has completely rooted in the pot. Two cuttings rooted using this method develop well. Let's take a look at previous year rooted cutting. Yes, it will soon be possible to harvest Matthew fix. But this will be a separate film. In the meantime, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.